Hello everyone, welcome to Recap Queen. In this video, we will explain Never Gone. This movie tells the story of the true love of two human beings who must be separated many times before they find each other and, in the end find their love again. Will their love be able to unite them in the end? Let's find out in Never Gone. Never Gone begins with the story of a poor girl named Su Yunjin who comes from a village. She is a quiet, gentle and beautiful girl. This year, she graduated from middle school and will continue her high school at a favorite school in the city. Even though Yoonjin's parents are currently experiencing economic difficulties, they have been saving for a long time so that she can study at her favorite high school. On her first day at school, Yoonjin looked different from the other students. She looked very simple and a little confused when she entered the school. As she walked through the school gates, she saw from behind a male student riding a motorbike fast and accidentally the wheels of his motorbike splashed puddles of water all over her body. That teenage boy was Cheng Zheng. He is a boy from a wealthy family who becomes an idol at school. With emotion, Yunjin approached Cheng Zheng to scold him. However, just as she was about to vent her emotions, suddenly a baseball shot towards her and was caught by Cheng Zheng's hand. Instead of apologizing for causing Yunjin to get soaked, Cheng Zheng advised her to be more careful when walking. Then he walked away. After that incident, Yunjin became displeased with Cheng Zheng. But it turns out that they are in the same class. In fact, Yunjin sit in front of Cheng Zheng's. At school, Yunjin has a close friend named Mo Yuhua. They became close because they came from the same simple family background. Yuhua helped Yunjin a lot to adapt to her school environment. In the division of math test scores, Yunjin did not get good grades. She only got a score of 50. This is in contrast to Cheng Zheng where he got a perfect score. Yunjin is not a smart kid so she has difficulty following math lessons. One day, Yunjin wanted to go to the toilet with a book. Sitting behind her, Cheng Zheng became suspicious when Yunjin secretly brought a book. He thought Yunjin would go out of class to cheat. Then he took the book and threw it up. Yunjin tried to reach for the book but the pad she had hidden inside the book fell. Yunjin was embarrassed and left the class. Seeing the dropped pad, her male friend in class picked it up and opened it. Cheng Zheng became sorry and felt guilty for humiliating Yunjin. Cheng Zheng tried to call Yunjin from behind while sitting in class during the next lesson, but Yunjin pretended not to hear him. Cheng Zhen then poked her back with a book, but Yunjin ignored him. Finally the book was thrown onto the Yunjin table by Cheng Zheng from behind. Annoyed by Cheng Zheng's attitude, Yunjin pulled up his chair and accidentally hit Cheng Zheng's leg. Cheng Zheng then winced in pain. When she opened the book that Cheng Zheng just threw, she saw that all the math problems contained in the book had been answered by him complete with the steps to do it. After school, Yunjin was seen standing while contemplating on the roof of the building. Suddenly Cheng Zheng appeared and teased her by pulling her hair. Because Yunjin didn't like Cheng Zheng's attitude, she rushed to leave but was restrained by Cheng Zhen. To make amends, Cheng Zheng also offers Yunjin to teach her math. At first Yunjin refused. However, she remembers being called by her math teacher and asking her to improve her grades. Because the teacher knew that it was not easy for Yunjin to get into this favorite school. After thinking about it for a while, she finally agreed to accept Cheng Zheng's offer to teach her math. Since then, after school, they always make an appointment to meet to study at the top of the school building. For Yunjin, being taught by Cheng Zhen turned out to be very fun even though sometimes his behavior was very annoying and made her annoyed. After studying math together, finally, Yunjin improved her grades. When the math test was distributed, she got a score of 85 and she smiled happily. After seeing Yunjin's achievements, Cheng Zhen became happy. Since then, their relationship has grown closer. One day, Yunjin had to leave school for a long time. She had to return to her village because she had urgent family matters. Ever since Yunjin left, Cheng Zhen seems less enthusiastic in school and daydreams a lot while staring at Yunjin's empty seat. One day, Cheng Zhen was caught sleeping in the classroom because he was not enthusiastic about following the lesson. Suddenly, he woke up when a student was sitting in front of him. He didn't want Yunjin's seat to be occupied by another student. It turned out that the student sitting in front of him was Yu Yua, Yunjin's best friend. Yuyua gave information that Yunjin had just come from her village and was now resting in her dorm room. Hearing that Yunjin had returned to school, Cheng Zhen immediately ran to Yunjin's dormitory. Arriving at the door, he banged loudly. After a while, the door opened and Yunjin with a sad face opened the door. Cheng Zhen asked why she was gone for so long, but Yunjin couldn't answer and only showed a black band wrapped around her left arm. This means that her father has died. Finally they arrived at the last term in the third grade of high school. During the school graduation party, Cheng Zheng kept an eye on Yunjin who was sitting with Yu Yua. Cheng Zheng walked up to Yunjin and asked her to dance at the farewell night party. After the dance, they went to the back of the school building. In this place Cheng Zheng expressed his love for Yunjin. Unexpectedly, Yunjin suddenly approached and kissed him. 
Cheng Zheng thought the kiss was a sign that Yunjin accepted his love. In fact, the kiss was a sign of farewell given by Yunjin to him. Yunjin left crying and left Cheng Zheng alone there. In her heart, Yunjin bid farewell to Cheng Zheng because she knew enough that she was not worthy of Cheng Zheng. The stark difference in economic level and family background between her and Cheng Zheng made it impossible for her to continue their relationship. A year has passed, now Yunjin has become a student at a university. To help pay for her tuition, she works as a part-time librarian on campus. In that place, she met a student named Shen Juan who both worked in the campus library. Juan is a kind-hearted man who is also Yunjin's senior. Slowly they began to close because they often work together in the library. They are even said to have a special relationship. One day Cheng Zheng and his younger sister came to Yunjin's campus. After not seeing each other for a long time, they were awkward between them. While Yunjin and Cheng Zheng were talking, Juan introduced himself to Cheng Zheng as Yunjin's girlfriend. Then, Cheng Zheng returned Juan's handshake by introducing himself as Yunjin's boyfriend. Hearing this, Yunjin immediately corrected Cheng Zheng's words that they were only close friends in high school. Not wanting to waste time, Cheng Zheng took Yunjin and Juan for a walk around the city. They went to a temple and wrote their wishes on a piece of paper. When Yunjin wanted to see the wish written by Cheng Zheng, he quickly covered his handwriting. Then, Juan would buy a drink with Cheng Zheng's sister. When Juan was about to return, he saw Cheng Zheng and Yunjin having a very serious conversation standing next to a car. Unexpectedly, Cheng Zheng immediately kissed Yunjin with a bit of coercion. It was seen by Juan from a distance. Cheng Zheng's sister then came to cheer Juan up. Since that incident, Yunjin and Juan's relationship has become strained. They do not greet each other even though they work together in the library. Because of that, Yunjin went to Cheng Zheng to vent her anger. It turned out that during the argument, Cheng Zheng told Yunjin that he also suffered a lot after graduating from high school because it was difficult to find her. Cheng Zheng thought that when Yunjin kissed him at the high school farewell party that time, it meant that their love would continue. However, the reality is quite the opposite, Yunjin disappeared and was difficult to contact. Finally, Cheng Zheng was no longer seeing Yunjin. Yunjin then turns out to be no longer in touch with Juan. This is because Juan has graduated from college and is working in a company. At the end of her college years, Yunjin stopped working part-time and was asked to return to the village by her mother. Turns out, her mother asked her for permission to remarry. Yunjin then agreed to her mother's request to remarry. Unexpectedly when she returned to the village, fate brought them back together. Yunjin saw Cheng Zheng who was sitting near her home area. Then, Cheng Zheng told her that he accompanied his mother who was on business there. As it turned out, Cheng Zheng's mother had bought a factory in the area. They then spent time together making rabbit lanterns. Later, Cheng Zheng invited Yunjin to live in Beijing after graduating. Yunjin agreed by nodding slowly. Yunjin's graduation day is almost here. She began to aggressively send job applications to several companies in Beijing so that she could be with Cheng Zheng. However, all her efforts were in vain as no single company in Beijing had summoned her for an interview. Finally, she got a recommendation for a company located in Shanghai. She applied there and was accepted. A few days later, Cheng Zheng told her that he had found a company in Beijing that needed employees. Unfortunately, Yunjin replies that she has received an employment contract to work in Shanghai. Cheng Zheng was angry because he thought Yunjin didn't keep her promise. Feeling guilty for Cheng Zheng, Yunjin took the initiative to go to Beijing by train. On the way, suddenly Cheng Zheng called to say that he was on his way to Shanghai to see her. Finally, they agreed to meet on the way. Yunjin got off at the next train station and waited for Cheng Zheng to arrive. They finally meet again at the station and hug. The two of them arrived in Beijing. Cheng Zheng takes Yunjin to shop for shoes and party dresses because they will attend his sister's engagement party in the evening. When she arrived at the party, Yunjin was shocked because Cheng Zheng's sister's fiancé was Juan, the man she used to be close to in college. She then advised Juan to take good care of his future wife. Days passed, Yunjin had returned to her routine by working in a company. Suddenly, Yunjin's stepfather came to her office to say that her mother was seriously ill due to cervical cancer. Her father, who turned out to be working in a company owned by Cheng Zheng's parents, had embezzled company money to cover her mother's medical expenses. Therefore, her stepfather asked her to help return the company's money. After her stepfather came home, Yunjin was busy calling her friends to borrow money. Unfortunately, none of her friends can help her. With no other choice, she called Juan for help. Juan then agreed to lend money. Cheng Zheng, who heard of his girlfriend's predicament, came to her apartment and gave her some money. However, Yunjin didn't want to accept it and said that Juan had lent her money. Hearing this, Cheng Zheng got angry saying why she didn't believe him and instead asked someone else to help her. He then leaves her apartment feeling angry and goes to Juan's house. Arriving at Juan's house, with great emotion, he threw the money he had brought for Yunjin. He then asked Juan not to interfere in his affairs. 
That night, Cheng Zheng went out for a drink with his friends to relieve his nervous feelings. Yu Jin comes to the bar to ask Cheng Zheng to come home. Cheng Zheng refused and instead made her jealous by hugging another girl at the bar. Because of this problem, Cheng Zheng and Yoon Jin's relationship was strained again and they parted ways. Not long after they separated, Cheng Zheng went to America to fulfill his mother's request. A year has passed, but Yoon Jin is hard to forget Cheng Zheng. She even came to the temple they used to go to when they wrote down their wishes. There, she saw the records of the visitors' expectations. She read paper after paper until she recognized Cheng Zheng's handwriting. She found out that when they visited the temple, Cheng Zheng wrote his wish by writing both of their names. Yunjin was crying again full of regret remembering her past. Finally, Yunjin ventured to New York to catch up with Cheng Zheng. Armed only with a map and asking people around, she arrived in front of a hotel in New York. From a distance, she saw Cheng Zheng walking towards his car. However, just as he was about to approach him, she saw a pregnant woman walking behind Cheng Zheng and soon he took the pregnant woman into the car. Seeing this, Yunjin couldn't help but cry and she chose to walk away. As Cheng Zheng's car started to move, he accidentally saw Yunjin who was walking alone. Cheng Zheng got out of the car to chase her. Unfortunately, he did not manage to find her. At the end of the story, Yunjin is standing on top of the school building to remember the good times when she was in high school. Suddenly someone grabbed her hair from behind. She was stunned when she turned her head because Cheng Zheng pulled her hair. Then, Cheng Zheng asked if someone was looking for him in New York. Yunjin was silent and didn't want to answer. Then, Cheng Zheng showed the video from his cell phone. In the video, Yunjin saw a pregnant woman who was walking with Cheng Zheng at the time. She saw that the pregnant woman was with her American husband and the newborn baby. It turned out that the pregnant woman was an old friend of Cheng Zheng's and at that time he was just helping her. Yunjin was crying because she had misunderstood. They hugged each other. Finally the film ends happily because the first love has united and became the last love.